Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. So today we are going to see how you can default your slicer to the current year. So I'm recording this video as of 22nd of September 2023. So uh, since it's 2023, the uh, ask will be the uh, you know the year slicer should by default have 2023 selected. So when we go to the next year, which is 2024, it should automatically change to 2024. So uh, to achieve this, you can achieve this in two ways. So I'll be making a separate video on the second method. This we are going to try to do it very easily uh, using a custom visual and a very simple tax. So let's get started. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to first of all have obviously a date table in your model. So this is my main table, which is the who data. And this is my date dimension. My date dimension will be linked to my who data using one to many relationship, right? Because in the date dimension, a date will occur only once. And you have to use this date dimension in your slicer, right? In your slicer that you will create. So I hope the basics are absolutely clear. So let's get started. Now, as per the requirement, we are not going to use much of DAX over here. And we will try to do this very simply. You have to right click, go to get more visuals. There will be just slice, search with slicer. Okay, so this is the one that we are talking about pre selected slicer, right? It has the blue tick. So you can go ahead and import this. Add this to your canvas. Okay. Now the date table you so right now I am showing it for the year. So for the year, I'll be using this particular column, which is in my table. Let me show that to you so that things will be dead clear. Let's see the data. Okay, this is going to be the data for the year, right? So this is my year, which contains, let's say, 2020, 2021, 22, and 23, right? So I'll be using this particular column as my slicer, obviously from the date dimension. So let me go ahead and add this under fields. Now there are two things, pre-selection and dirty status. So for the dirty status, you have to give a binary uh, column, right? So for that, we need to go to enter data and create two dummy data of just true and false. Name the table as status flag and the column as status, which just has two values, which is true and false. So let me go ahead and add the status and it will show this particular error message, but do not worry. We also have to create a measure, which will be a very simple measure. So I'll go to new measure. Okay. I hope you're able to see this now. Let me go ahead and do a control enter to come into the next line. So pre-selection condition I'll write as max of, you know, the date that I want to give or rather the year column from date dimension, right? And I'll say max of the year is equal to, so I will try to extract the year from today. So there is a function called today, which will give me obviously today, today's date. And from there, I need to extract the year. Okay, so now we simply drag and drop this. Now guys, the beauty of this particular simple uh, you know, DAX is if you want, you know, default selection for the past two years, you, you know, you all you have to do is write like this particular year is greater than equal to year minus one. Right. So it is going to be 2022 and 23. Both of them will be selected. Now let us quickly see how you can go ahead and sort it for a month year combination, right? So for that, I've taken the same visual over here, which is again, a pre-selected slicer. And why I wanted to use the date table. Now you will find a lot of advantages over here. So month year is already pre-calculated in my date table. So if I go to my date table, select the date dimension, and scroll towards the last they these these are the this is the column that i'm talking about year month right so which you can go ahead and use easily uh, and in the back end remember you have to use year month code as well which is of type 
number right so uh, this year month is of type text but year month code is of type number right so you can go ahead and use that as well how very interestingly what we have done over here is we have written one more measure right over here I am taking max of year month code as I told you that I need to do a max of a number type of column right I cannot do a max of text so that's why I have taken year month code and equals I have taken year of today so from today I am extracting the year and multiplying this with 100 uh, okay and uh, then I will extract month from today so it will be again a combination of the year which is 2023 multiply it with 100 so it will be 202300 plus the month so month will always give you a number so what is the month going on it is 09 which is september right so my year code will match with this year code and this will be true this particular measure and you have to pull that measure in the pre-selection right so uh, why it is not showing that's because i was trying to play around with this you, all you have to do is reset this right as soon as you click on reset and scroll down you will be able to see the present month which is september 2023 selected now uh, this might look a bit odd the the year selection with a lot of values so what i'll do is i'll try to do this neatly so let me go ahead and go to the visual and from visual instead of list i also this as a drop down so i hope you're liking my video guys and if you are liking my videos please do not forget to subscribe with bye